Neil McAvoy, member of the, the Senev, leader of Propel. I'm a candidate in Cardiff West and I'm a candidate on the list in Cardiff, Ron the Cannon Staff and the Vale of Glamorgan. As you can see, I'm outside the castle today. I'm in the, the arcades, it's a really special place in the city. A lot of people come to Cardiff and they love shopping here. Castle Quarter, it's called. And I've got some really, really disturbing news because the businesses here, I feel, landlords in, in London, so th this, these arcades are actually owned by a London company called Mansfords. So what is happening, or what has happened, obviously the shops have been closed for seven, eight months, and yet this company in London, who I believe, I will check, I believe they've had support of the British government, and yet they want to charge small businesses here full rent except for three months. So I'm told that some of the businesses were given a choice to, to leave, uh, leave the contract and leave the arcade without debt, and they've done so. Others here, I'm told, th those that, that chose to stay, have to pay full rent for, God, seven, eight months. Uh, th th they, they were, th well, if they close for eight months, they're only getting three months off. And as we see, we're walking through now, empty, 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 so lots of the businesses have already gone. So empty there, nothing going on. So the, for me, the question is, why is this company in London insisting on putting small businesses in our capital city out of business? I'm told that the council has not been supportive. I'm, 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 I'm not surprised by that. We have local governments. We have the Welsh government. They should be pitching, another, another place empty. They should be pitching in supporting local businesses, supporting people who've poured their heart and soul into, into their enterprises in, in, in this arcade. Today, it's my last day as a member of the Welsh Parliament. What I will be doing is writing to the Council. I'll be demanding that the Council take action. I'll be writing to the, the Welsh Government. I'll be demanding that they take action as well. I'll also be writing to Mansford. I want to know what the hell they're up to in throwing out all these small businesses. And also I'll be writing to the UK government because what I, want to make, what I want to know is how much has Mansford received in subsidy to empty our arcades of business. It's completely wrong. And it's, it's an example of where the COVID crisis has been abused, in my opinion. What we're doing here in Propel is standing up for small businesses. And in Propel, what about solutions? There are solutions here because the, the council has a thing called well-being powers. Now, it doesn't take a genius to work out that it's in the city's best interests and in the best interest of all, our, all of our well-being in Cardiff that these arcades here are occupied by businesses and they're thriving. So what Cardiff could do in terms of coming to the table with a threat, if you like, a big stick, they could tell the, the landlords, they could tell the, the, the company in London if they're not going to play ball, if they're going to treat these business people in Cardiff very badly, then the city will compulsory purchase these arcades. Of course there'll be a row about it, but we have the powers under well-being. It's called well-being powers, and I'll be encouraging the council to threaten, if you like, I'll be called a bully next, but I mean it. What they should be doing is standing up on behalf of a small person here in this situation, which are these local businesses. and. If they're not going to play ball, compulsory purchase the arcades and then lease them back to the businesses at a fair rate. I mean, the arcades are part of the thing which makes, one of the things which make Cardiff special. All the, all the people I know that come here to visit and they've loved the arcades and it, it's a, a crying shame to see them empty. It's a crying shame that businesses are faced with debts now in terms of having to pay so much rent when they've not been trading. It's just not fair. And the whole purpose of electing politicians is to bring solutions, but also to have a bit of fair play. And that's what we want here. So I'm just walking through now and uh, see it's getting busy again, which, which is good. Spoke to some of the businesses in the other arcade though, and it's been quite tough in terms of retail. But I mean, it's wrong. What is happening is wrong. And as far as Pro Propel is concerned, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not gonna sit back and allow a London company to essentially put 
our small businesses in this city out of business. Let me know what you think on the feed. Please share this feed as well. Share the, share the page with this on. We want the elections are 12 months away. You never know. In 12 months' time, you could be dealing with a, a Propel-led council, and we would take action. Believe me. Diochenvauer.